on part three. It's just, no, I am out as far as I can go. So this unit I've shown before and it's the IKEA Ross cut and I actually got mine when it was on offer because I don't think they make this colour anymore. So I got mine for £18 instead of, I think they're normally like 50 quid. So in the top bit I've just got some candles to water and some other little bits to play with. Um, this I'm going to keep um, as my mixed media unit because I've got a box at the back here which has got what are they? some pow um, you know the powders, um, some stick or glue. I haven't, I'm, I probably said quite a while back and a few times now, um, before I moved here I had a massive clear out of my craft room. So I sold a lot of stamps and stuff because I, was, I wasn't going to give it up totally but I was going to sort of cut back on, you know, like mixed media and stuff like that. And as time went on I was starting to miss it so I'm like slowly getting my supplies up again. So I've got um, texture paste, glues, gessos, sprays and then down here um, sponges, things to use for texture and stuff like that is in there. And then if I come back, no, I'll stay down here because I'm already down and then I'll try and get up. So this is my blue sideboard that I got from a charity shop, real bargain. Um, I had some money given to me as well and it was 75 quid. So I think, and it's a real heavy unit. Obviously somebody judged, um, jazzed it up to be blue and I like blue and it sort of goes with the blue curtains I've got in here so yeah that was a real bargain so things have either I will just say things have either been brought for me as gifts in here or things I've got given like my craft table was my parents old dining table um the two bookcases one was a birthday present and then a bit later on I had one as a Christmas present or I've bought stuff on bargain so I don't want I haven't got tons of money it's things I've saved up for like I'd like some more storage but I've got to wait until I sell something or what have you anyway not enough of that so in this drawer I've got embossing folders so the greeny one is Christmassy ones that's every day and I've got papers in here because like I said I'm just moving stuff around trying to get it's sort of sorted how I want. It's how it's going to be for the moment until some more storage comes along. And then in here I've got all my stamping up dies. I'm not going to show too much because there's some... I know Christmas is a way off but I've made some Christmas stuff which I've put in there. And then let me just kneel up a bit because I'm on the floor so excuse me. Um, so in this one I've got my envelope punch board some ribbon spare blades for the the cutting machine i showed you earlier on so i've got some ribbon wrapped round cards um i've done that one and here are my mini um mass books my book that i use for happy mail a little glue book i'm playing with and then um, in here are all my envelopes and no, I haven't got any card blanks at the moment. I've run out. So envelopes. Uh, this one has boxes with sentiments and so I've sorted it to female, male and Christmas. This I've shown in the video. I had it made for me in Happy Mail and that just keeps my bling in. Oh, I'm out of breath again. And let me stand up now for this one. If I come in a bit, you might be able to see. That's better. Um, in this one, it's just like a junk drawer. It's got um, some fabric that I use for drying stuff off. Um, little sewing bits, measures. So yes, yeah, like a little junk drawer. And then in this one will be my pens. And in here are my ink pads, acrylic blocks. And then if I come up here, this keeps um, crochet patterns in. This one is my loose leaf um, folder that I use for Cindy's um, pick 10 and her other monthly challenge. This has just got my stencils in. Uh, glue book I'm working on. Let me move this one out of the way. I've nearly finished it so I hope to do a flip on that soon. Oops. 
and then this unit I've had for app well since I got into um paper crafting and stuff I mean I've crafted ever since I was little in one form or another but this was the first thing I got when I was older um so this bit's just stuff I keep for making Christmas tags uh washi empty pegs uh twine and then this unit I've had for a long time as well which came from Hobbycraft I brought it was when it was on sale oh let me start here so this tub has um flowers that are on wires and some trim this one is empty but it'd be for Xmas card kits that's my female card kits so like hunky dory kits and then that's children's let me start again men's no Xmas children's ladies so I've got some in there the men's one is empty because I've used that up what's in here Oh, this is papers ready to be painted. I know I'm a bit sad. Papers that have been painted. Um, and my thickers are alphabet stuff. And stickers are in that one. So that is pretty much my craft room. So I'll just come round again. Oh no, I forgot down here. Down here is a box that's got my 12 by 12 and 8 by 8 papers, my tripod. Um, on the floor I've just got this wipe clean tablecloth that I use for putting things on to dry and stuff so it protects the carpet and that is pretty much my craft room like I said if you want to see anything in depth more than what it is then leave a message in any of these videos because it's going to be a three-parter and um I will do that as separate videos so take care thank you very much for watching thank you to my new subscribers the lovely comments as well as the emails I'm getting it really does mean a lot so thank you very much have a good weekend bye